Hello guys, my name is Umair Khan. Welcome to the pen testing Amazon Web Services series. Let's get started. By the end of this session, you will be familiar with the concept of cloud computing. What is Amazon Web Services? Why learn AWS pen testing specifically? And in the end, we will create our AWS lab account using free tier AWS services. So what is cloud? PC Mac defines cloud as hardware and software services from a provider on the internet. Basically, a cloud is someone else's data center from, you, from where you can use resources and pay them for it. Now, there are lots of cloud providers, for example, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, VMware, and OpenStack. However, AWS is the largest from all of these. AWS has more than 175 services that are evolving at warp speed. Then why should you choose to learn AWS over other cloud platforms? The answer is numbers. AWS is the leader when it comes about cloud computing. More than 60% of workload of cloud runs on Amazon Web Services. Need I say more? Apart from this, AWS offers 12 months of free access to many of its services in the form of its free tier account. We are going to leverage this facility as we move along with this series and practice all of the scenarios that we are going to do in, as we move along with this series. So here is the list of what you can get for free. All right, let's move on and create an account finally. So here I'll show you how to create an account. You need to enter a valid email ID here. So once you have entered the email ID, you need to enter a password here. Make sure you add symbols and numbers as well along with the alphabet. Add a name here that you want to give to your AWS account. Now AWS will take you to another page where you need to specify that this is your personal account and not the professional account. Add your phone number where you can also add multi-factor authentication letter. Add a country where you live in your street address, then add your apartment number or flat number or the room number where you reside. Later you need to add the city where you reside, add the state and then finally the postal code. So make sure you uh, enter the correct details, make sure you read the terms and conditions of the AWS and then click the checkbox and create account and continue. You will be redirected to the payment page where you are going to have to enter your credit card or debit card detail and the name on your card. So if you have a PAN card, you need to select yes, otherwise no. Make sure these details are correct since AWS is going to verify this account. Uh, when you click on verify and add, in order to verify your card, AWS will detect two rupees from your account and refund it back to you. Now click on verify and add and you will receive an email from AWS in your account on the email ID that you have registered this account with indicating that your AWS account has been successfully created. All the links are given in the description. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe and share. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome.